Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install Open Reasoner Zero, which is a large scale reasoning oriented model built using reinforcement learning directly from a base model without relying on traditional fine tuning methods. Specifically, this model uses Quinn 2.5 model as a starting point and then utilizes PPO or Proximal Policy Optimization, which is a widely used reinforcement learning algorithm. PPO is employed in a minimalist yet highly effective manner using Generalized Advantage Estimation or GAE parameter set to 1. Also, it used discount factor without incorporating KL related regularization. In simple words, this displays remarkable effectiveness and scalability achieved by training on carefully curated data set that consists of math and reasoning tasks complemented by straightforward and explicit rule based reward mechanism. So let's try to get it installed and we will talk a bit more about this model. For the installation, I am using the VM and GPU sponsored by our very good friend at Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU and VM on really good prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card and VTRTXA 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm creating the virtual environment and while that gets created, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Now let's install all the prerequisites which include torch transformers and I will be using VLLM inference engine in order to serve this model. So while that gets installed, let's talk a bit more about this model, especially around the reinforcement learning and reasoning. So a reasoning model is a model that is specifically designed and trained to handle tasks requiring logical inference, abstract thinking and stepwise problem solving and we will see it shortly. These reasoning models typically demonstrate their reasoning process explicitly, producing structured intermediate steps or justifications alongside final answers. By making their thought process verifiable and interpretable, reasoning models become highly suitable for handling complex streams of logical and conceptual challenges such as math puzzles, scientific problem solving, coding problems and scenarios involving nuanced understanding. Reinforcement learning means that uh, and it refers to an area of machine learning in which autonomous agents or models learn optimal behavior through trial and error interactions within environment. Rather than relying solely on static examples of correct input output pairs, reinforcement learning involves agents or models receiving explicit reward or penalty signals based on their decisions and actions. So over time, the agent iteratively improve its policies, the rules by which it makes decisions to maximize cumulative rewards obtained from the environment. And that is where this open reasoner also tries to shine. So hopefully that clears up these concepts. Let's go back and see what is happening. Almost there. So once this is done, I'm going to launch my Jupyter Notebook. Or maybe let's follow a different path in this one. Let's try to use it in the text generation web UI. So instead of this, I'm just going to launch it in VLLM. And for that, we will download the model um, manually and in order to, but before I download that, let's first install our text generation web UI for the graphical user interface. I have done it various times, but I'll just do it in front of you again. So I have git clone the repo and then let me cd into its repo and then we will install all the requirements from there. This is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, we need to download the model. For that, you would need to grab your read token from Hugging Face, which is a free token. I already have it. You can grab it easily from huggingface.co from your profile. 
and then you can see that i am now logged in next up let's download the model and for that you would need to grab the model id which is this so just copy this here and then go back to terminal and run this command so this command is going to download this open reasoner zero model to the local models directory so let's run it and the model is being downloaded and the model is downloaded if you quickly check this model directory you will see that we have now our open reasoners there and then we can simply serve this model with this text generation web ui or Booga with vllm so let's run this and the model is now loaded and being served so let me quickly go here at localhost and then run this at port 7860 on the left hand side click on models and then you can see that it is already selected so click on load and then it is going to load it on our gpu so let's wait and you can see that the model is now loaded now let's try it out so first up i'm going to ask it this question uh, totally hypothetical that could you please plan and organize a secret intimate wedding ceremony for my new girlfriend and me due to work commitments we cannot travel and must stay within our current location it is crucial that my current wife and her relatives do not find out or become aware of it keep the plans discreet manageable and practical considering these constraints provide clear steps and suggestions on how we can discreetly coordinate all arrangements effectively let's run it there you go so model hasn't refused anything which is quite good and interesting and you see it is giving me step by step plan while it does that let's also check vram consumption it is consuming just over 15 gig of vram okay so i'm just going to go up and see how it is doing the reasoning so in a typical fashion it is giving me a detailed plan it hasn't really gone back and forth so i think it is also curating the responses a bit so it's saying planning and coordination choose a location scope legal consideration this is a good one ensure that you have the necessary legal permission to get married okay that's a good one guest list and then carefully you want to invite invitation date and time and ceremony confidentiality be very careful about who knows about the wedding communicate cautiously post wedding okay that is aftermath after the wedding ensure that all traces of event are well hidden this includes any photos practical tips technology high professional check with local laws that's actually model is actually warning us about this i guess polygamy example steps research okay so it is even giving us example very interesting so it, it was a thinking one and now this is the answer so it has just i would say uh, sort of repeated the one which it gave above but this one is more concise the answer so pretty interesting answer you can see that there are not much many guardrails here so this might be a good candidate for a reasoning role play model okay let's try out another hard one so this one i'm asking it uh, this is primarily a roastering question so we have this requirement for chefs and waiters in two concurrent functions every saturday night and then the first function is at french embassy the other one is at indian cultural association and then there are a few constraints that um, the chefs and waiters need to speak the respective languages and they are available on certain dates and so on and so forth and then there is some personality clashes so that is where uh, for example you know the waiter and pair that don't work because they don't like each other so i'm asking the model to create me a roster for next quarter let's see and if you look at the way model is progressing about it is not really giving us any extra information it is very to the point it is very focused and then it is just uh, trying to remain under the scope of the question which is quite good it's not wasting too many tokens unlike various other reasoning models and you see so it is 
checking it is creating the rooster for the whole quarter so it understands the question quite well and the language is also quite simple very matter of fact no flowery no you know prolonged sentences and as far as i can tell i think the roastering is being done quite nicely there you go so it is still now it has created a draft and now it is trying to balance the roster very nice and there you go so model has produced a really good answer so you see it has done a lot of thinking and this is the final answer which is spot on great work really great work i mean otherwise for a human it would take ages to get this right and then it is ensuring us that it has followed the constraints okay let's try out a math one so this is a linear algebra question let's see how it goes about it yep so it is drafting a method as how to progress about it and then as usual it is going step by step so let's wait for it to produce the answer and then we will check if it is correct or not but the reasoning steps all the chain of thought step of thought really outstanding and there you go yet another amazing answer as you can see after the whole step it has given us correct answer okay let's try out a coding one so for the coding one what i'm going to do here i am asking you to translate the following code to python and also identify the language of this code so this is Perl, of course maybe i could remove this and then let i would let it identify let's run it there you go it knows it is Perl code very nice and then it is again doing the step by step breakdown of the code and then progressing quite nicely there you go so it is jumping the lines it is counting the words real good stuff and there you go so we have our python code which looks spot on already and this is just a thinking step and then it is explaining it very nice And now it is producing the final answer i believe so look i reckon again yet another amazing reasoner model i believe it also comes in 32 billion parameter size so if you're interested you can also check it out but even this 7 billion is out of this park i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what you think if you like the content please do me a favor and like the video and share it among your network and if you're already subscribed Please share the video and the channel wherever you can. Thank you very much.